Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your shift key is not working properly on your Windows computer. So the shift key is a modifier key that basically will allow you to capitalize lowercase letters and help in selecting objects in File Explorer or your desktop. So we're going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve and get your shift key working once again. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by going into the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. And you want to type in sticky keys. One of the best managers should come back with turn on ease of access keys. You want to left click on that. You want to make sure turn on sticky keys is unchecked here. So you want to make sure it's basically just turned off. If it's currently checkmarked in here, so if it says turn on sticky keys, you want to uncheck it. And then just left click on apply and OK. Same would go for toggle keys as well. And once you're done, I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully your problem has been resolved. If you're still experiencing an issue, I would suggest opening up the start menu again. Type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager. Right above control panel. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. Now in device manager, you want to expand the keyboard section. Either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. Now whatever keyboard is listening here, you want to go and right click on it, and then left click on update driver. Left click on search automatically for updated driver software, it will take a moment. Okay right, guys, so I would try to let that run see if it finds anything. Now if it doesn't, you can also try plugging in an additional keyboard and see if that keyboard is detected as well. And hopefully one of those methods should work for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.